Hi guys, myself Neha, your mentor for current affairs and I'm back with the current affairs for November 11, 2020. So I hope that you are uh, preparing for your Diwali's very well. So, but do not forget that you also have your exams. Okay, so this reminds me that a student asked me about the RBI grade B tentative date. So let me tell you guys that we ourselves are not very sure about the RBI grade B 2020 notification. It can come out at any time. By what I am constantly saying you is that you have to be prepared for the examination whenever notification comes out. If you are serious about cracking RBI grade B, then you should not wait for the notification. You should start preparation for your examination from the very uh, the, from this day only. So here on this note, I hope that you guys are preparing for your examinations and this series is definitely going to help you in your phase 1 GK. So let's begin the series of morning tales where I have very important and interesting current affairs for you. But before that, those who have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe it and hit this bell notification for your own good. You will get the instant notifications about our new uploads. Telegram group bhi hai, ye bhi join kar sakte ho. Here you can ask your queries and you can uh, also enjoy the free quizzes that we provide on this channel. Link description mein hai. So if you want to join, you can join from that link. The first question is with which country has India signed an MOU for setting up soil and plant testing laboratories in that country? So which country is it? Let me give you a hint. With this country only, India has signed this, India has approved this Greater Malay Connectivity Project. So now I hope that majority of you have got your answers. The right answer is Maldives. So Maldives, with Maldives, India has right now signed a total number of four uh, MOUs. Out of those four MOUs, one is for this, the other one is for this. So this project was announced in August itself. In September, Exim Bank gave $400 million to Maldives for executing this project. And now the $100 million. The MOU for $100 million for this project will be provided to uh, Maldives under this MOU. So one MOU is for this purpose only. Second MOU is this and third MOU is in the field of co uh, sports and youth affairs. So in order to cooperate with each other in sports and youth affairs, Maldives and India have signed an MOU. And fourth MOU is for setting up detox fa facility, drug detox facility in Maldives itself. So here are the four MOUs and you have to remember this thing that with Maldives, these MOUs have been signed. Now your uh, task is to have a look at the static fact of Maldives. The uh, Maldives PM was quite in news last year because of his comments on JNK. So if you guys remember, then it is going to be really an easy question for you guys. So do tell me in the comment section about the static facts related to Maldives, that is capital currency and PM, not PM, President. Recently, Ropex ferry service between Hazira and Goha has been inaugurated. In which state have, are these two places located? So this service was inaugurated very recently by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So where is it? It is in Gujarat. So Hazira and Goha are the two places in Gujarat. Now guys, my motive behind taking this question is to tell you that the Ministry of Shipping is being renamed. The Central Ministry of Shipping is in the process of getting a new name. So what is the new name? The new name is Ministry of Ports, uh, Shipping and Waterways. So this step has not been taken yet. The decision, the final decision is yet to be announced by the government. But right now it is in the news that the government is planning to change the name of Ministry of Shipping 
to Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. So you have to keep this thing in mind and whenever the decision becomes final, I will provide you the information. So here this question ends. Now I have to ask you a question. You have to tell me the CM of Gujarat. This is an important question, so do pay attention to this question. On which lake is India's longest single lane motorable suspension bridge named as Dobra Shanti Bridge located? So this is the India's longest single lane motorable suspension bridge. Now guys, I'll give you a hint about the answer of this question. So the lake, uh, the state in which this suspension bridge is located has recently observed it. Uh, foundation day on 9th November. So if you are a daily reader of newspapers or competitive websites, you would know the answer. So the right answer is Tehri Lake, which is in Uttarakhand. So Uttarakhand observed its 20th foundation day on 9th November and on this day only this lake, uh, this bridge was inaugurated. Now here we have come across three facts that first is this, second is this and third is this, Tehri Lake and Uttarakhand. Apart from this, Uttarakhand has become the first state in India to provide free internet services to, uh, to colleges and higher education institu institutions. So you have to remember this thing. First state to pro completely digitalize the school education, the first state is Kerala. Then the first state that digitalized its college level education, that is Goa. Remember the Dishtabo platform that Goa launched, uh, launched last month uh, in order to digitalize the uh, college level and higher education uh, institutions education. So first state which has uh, digitalized the education at higher education level at uh, university level is Goa. And the first state that has provided free internet services to government institutions college at the college level is Uttarakhand. So here are the three first in the sector of education and you have to remember these three facts uh, accurately. Don't mug up these, uh, don't mix up these facts. I hope that I am clear till now and this is a very basic question. Now my question is for you, the CM of Uttarakhand. Tell me in the comment section. Next is about the new president elect of USA. So Joe Biden has become the new president. And guys, do you know that he has become the oldest president in American history? So before him, Donald Trump was the oldest president and now Joe Biden has become the uh, oldest president. He is presently 77. Apart from this, you must have heard about Kamala Harris as well, who has become the first women vice president of USA, as well as the first women of color that has become the vice president of women. So it's a very great uh, accolade for India itself. Now this question is about a new task force that Joe Biden has announced for coronavirus. Now let's read out this question and find out what the question is asking us. US President-elect Joe Biden has announced a 12-member coronavirus task force to assault. Assault means to reduce the impact of COVID-19 on US economy. Who among the following is the chair of the task force? Now guys, from the option, you can see that it is an Indian. So which Indian is this? It is Vivek Murthy. Now he is not the only person who is the chair of this task force. There are other two people as well. So those two are Americans. So these three people are the chair of this task force, which is of 12 members, which has formed to assuage the impact of COVID-19 on US economy. I hope that you can remember it very well. Now let's move on to the next question. Which organization has launched the Cancer Sense No Notification campaign on social media to increase awareness and spread knowledge about cancer on National Cancer Awareness Day? 
Now, when is this day observed? It is observed on November 7. <clears throat> Why, guys, I have taken this question? The reason is that such questions have been asked in the examination in the past. Therefore, you should pay attention to questions like these. Now, which insurance company has launched this campaign? The right answer is Bharti Excel General Life Insurance. Who is the chairman, CMD of this company? That you have to tell me in the comment section below. Chairman and managing director. This is a new appointment. Who has been appointed as a CEO of Air India Express? Air India Express is the subsidiary of Air India Limited. And you must have heard about this whole record of Air India privatization. So government is in the process of privatizing Air India and this Air India Express as well. Now recently, the CEO of this organization has been appointed. The person is Alok Singh. Which of the following book has won the JCB Prize for Literature 2020? So which book has won this prize? The right answer is Mushtaj. It is a Malayalam book, Malayalam novel written by S. Harish. And that this book has won this JCB Prize for Literature for the year 2020. And this prize is given by JCB Literature Foundation. This foundation is an Indian based non profit organization. So, uh, just a basic fact that I wanted to tell you, but remember this thing that this JCB Prize for Literature is an important prize, and you have to remember the book and the author as well. Now, guys, this since I said that this is a Malayalam book and it has been translated in English, you have to find out the translator of this book. So this is a very interesting task that I found. So this is your task. You have to tell me that who is the translator of this novel. Sports section. Who has won the Rolex Paris Masters 2020? So first of all, what is this Paris Master? It is a tennis tournament for males, for men, organized by ATP. ATP is the Association for Tennis Professionals. So this ATP organizes such tours for the whole year and uh, not for the whole year, that across during the whole year, the uh, ATP organizes such kind of tournaments, tennis tournaments. So recently it has concluded and who has won this? It is Delhi Medved. So he has he is a Russian player and he has won this Paris Masters 2020. Okay guys, so here our session ends and I hope that you have really liked this session. And if you have, then do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do come tomorrow as well.